supposed to win all your money if you're late. Yeah, yeah, dream on, man, or tonight I brought my A game. <laughs> and you're going home with light pockets, my friend. Who's this? Oh, this is Dave, my next door neighbor. Uh, he kindly said he would fill in for Riley in his absence. Why? What's up with Riley? Got his ass burned from riding that bike too much? <laughs> Guy think his fucking Lance Armstrong. No, worse. He was training for this um, charity race, right? When out of nowhere a car comes in and sideswipes him, and he goes flying across two lanes of traffic into a gas station, narrowly misses the fuel pumps, straight into the car wash, hitting a car in the process of getting a full shampoo. The police said he was lucky to be alive and not drowned in the suds. Shit. But he's okay, right? Well, two broken legs, ten stitches. Oh. And the bike lost the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but on the bright side, he's extremely clean. Unlike Lance Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> For that, you deserve a beer and a seat at our prestigious little table. So, you play poker, Dave? Yeah. But I haven't for some years, so I might be a bit rusty. That's alright with us, as long as you brought plenty of cash with you. Because the beer is free, but the game is not. <laughs> so, you still working in that cocktail bar, Marco? Hell yeah. The ladies love a good cocktail. Yeah? If you know what I mean. Fucking <laughs> wall to wall pussy up in there. Huh? Except for some odd faggot. <coughs> Always try to order a penis colada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Just take this red head that I picked up last week. Now, usually, I don't go for red heads. Hot. And she was up for anything. So I take her back to my place, right? And like I said, she was up for anything. And she was horny as fuck. So she's bending over, showing me her hot ass and wet pussy. <laughs> and she tells me, In the butt, you dirty headmaster. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, you're fucking right, Dave. Whoa, anal. <laughs> Come on, guys. I never seen the traction to that. I mean, for me, the hole is for one purpose. And one purpose only. Dirty fucking bitch. Yeah, she was, Dave. But I'm telling all of you, if you get the opportunity, you'll have to try it. What's it like? Well... It's like trying to get your head in a jumper that's way too small. But you just keep on trying and trying and trying. And once you're in, you're never out. So, 
Dave, how do you make your money that I'm stealing from you? Dave here is the school science teacher at the local high school. Yeah, boring, really. I don't get to come home with any exciting stories like yours, Marco. <clears throat> no, obviously. But I bet you had a lot of wicked thoughts about them. Naughty teenage girls in your science class, right? Dirty Dave. No, I'm married and I'm their teacher. Okay, I understand. Keep it to yourself. No chance of getting fired. <laughs> Can you hear that? What? Th that beeping sound. I think it's coming from underneath the table. Is that a fucking bomb? Isn't this the time when we should be running away, huh? No, don't go. We don't know how safe it is. No, don't touch it. Relax, it's a piece of paper. It says rule of bomb. Rule number one. Do not move away from the chest or the bomb will explode. Rule number two. Do not call for help or the bomb will explode. This is a joke, right? Rule number three. This is no joke. Oh, seriously, you, you're playing a joke on the new guy, right? Okay, everybody relax. Just relax. Shit. We need to go to the toilet, man. What? We need a fucking piss. I just drank four bottles of beer. Okay, okay. L let's just let's just keep on playing poker, and, and they'll they'll take your mind of needing to go to the toilet, and, and uh, all of my uh, our minds are, are, are out of, of 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 the fact that there's a dirty big bomb under the table. All right? Yeah, yeah. We need to think logically about what to do. Disarm the bomb, Dave. <laughs> what? You said it's a fucking science teacher, right? Look, there's gotta be a reason there's a bomb under the table. Do any of you have any connections to organized crime? Or, or better yet, politics? Dave's right. Uh, uh, th 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 there must be a reason for us being in this situation. Th th the bomb is clearly. It's clearly aimed at one of us. What are you doing? I couldn't hold it any longer. You're pissing on my floor? That's right, this is your house. The bomb is in your house. It must be aimed at you, Leon. Why? What have I done to anybody? Okay, maybe I bought some booze without paying the import tax. But come on, guys. That's right. Sorry, sorry. I, I was, I was being silly. Sorry. It can't be Dave, right? He's just standing in for Riley. And who would uh, hold a grudge against a uh, science teacher anyway? Yes, you're right. He is standing in for Riley. And Riley was nearly killed by a hit and run this morning. Maybe this is the backup plan if the hit and run didn't work. Maybe. Yeah, maybe this is Riley's fault, the fucking bastard. Well, it can't be aimed at me. I'm a bank manager. Everybody loves bank managers. We're the good guys. We give you money. What if Marco's the target? 
Who steel is it? It's Dave. You know, many years ago my father told me that every good deed has its reward, but every bad deed doesn't go unpunished. Take me, for example, I, I come home from work every night to my wonderful wife and my two wonderful children and my home. I want for nothing. I, uh, my life was complete. I can vouch for that. He has a beautiful home and family. Thanks, Tom. You're a good friend and neighbor. And that is my reward for all the good deeds I've given in my life. I, I go to church, I, I pay my bills on time, I am considerate to my fellow human beings. Now, uh, what about the bad deeds? Well, up to now there hasn't been any. <laughs> Bullshit. Everybody has some bad in them. Maybe you're right, Marco. Maybe we all do have some bad in us. Oh my god. And maybe that is man's flaw. Wait, you, you said. You said it was complete. Not is complete. This is the redhead bitch I butt fucked last week. I can still taste it. Yes, it is. And all because of you and your dirty, greasy, infested dick. My wife has to explain to our children why she accidentally keeps going to the toilet in her clothes like some baby. That's something you shouldn't have to explain to a three or five year old. Dave. What are you doing? This is my moment of just revenge, the time when Marco gets to hear his bad deed that won't go unpunished! Tom and Ian, you are free to go if you want. Leon, it was nice to have met you and I apologize about your home in advance. You need to learn to keep it in your pants, mate. Just go! In life there are two kinds of men. The kind that do everything right and still their life gets trampled upon. And the other kind. You. Suck dry the life from decent people. You are nothing more than a cockroach who will still survive even after nuclear war. Fucking everything that lives. And all we decent folk can do is to make sure you don't get to reproduce and make more of your little bastard cockroach children to contaminate the earth population. Just calm down, man. Calm down. I understand you're angry. Fuck, I would be too. But look at it this way. Man, all I can say is I love fucking women, and they love me fucking them. Why can't we just let the bygones be bygones, and uh, everything is uh, fair in uh, love and war, right? No, Marco. All is not fair in love and war. But they both do carry casualties. You want me to beg? I can beg, man. I'm, I'm a fucking pussy, man, and I don't want to die. Please don't kill me. Sorry. Forgiveness is out of my hands. <laughs>